the next one is stages of career development that is preparation in this stage you are still getting ready to do your life's work first let us see the uh, stage one that is assessment in this stage you are getting ready for your life's work this stage is characterized by unawareness in that you are not sure what your values strengths and weaknesses are you start to feel as though you want to know more about yourself and make a conscious effort to get in touch with who you are the key characteristics are taking assessment instruments and working with a career counselor or career coach and it has at least to five stages which is exploration establishment mid career late career and decline next investigation here you are researching that what work exists in the world and this stage is characterized by feelings of confusion in that you are not sure what career options exist for you and you may feel overwhelmed with all for the all of the jobs and opportunities that exist as you begin in the process of researching the modern world of work but if you approach this stage with a positive frame of mind you will find that you will learn about many possibilities you may have never considered so an inquiry or investigation will try to identify the areas which makes you overwhelmed and the areas which works gives you more possibilities and next is the key characteristics for this is reaching the world of work and conducting informational interviews with people in your chosen field the third stage is preparation in this stage you are still getting ready to do your life's work this stage is characterized by feelings of excitement as you think of how wonderful it will be to perform meaningful work however there is still much work to be done and to be successful you have to prepare so the key characteristics here are gaining knowledge and experience and setting goals and adopting a success oriented mindset so these two key areas are required for the preparation and third category also next comes the commitment so in this stage you will feel confident that you have figured out what you are meant to do sometimes people have known all along with they were meant to do but could not commit to the process of making it happen for whatever reason at this stage more than ever you must focus your energy and keep your eye on the target so the key characteristics here is conducting a job search and negotiating and accepting a job offer so the job search has to be started at this stage and uh, negotiation and accepting a job offer has to be done without fail and next is retention here you will feel comfortable in your career field as you will now have figured out how things work in your industry you will want to remain committed to your career by continually updating your skill set and staying current with your industrial standards providing a first class customer service skills and building a professional network so these are the primary characteristics as far as the job is concerned so right from the initial stage till the first stage till the fifth stage so here retaining a retention of the job is much important next comes the transition so this stage is characterized by feelings of discomfort in that you are unsure of what you will be doing next or if you will be unhappy in this stage you will learn to make conscious changes in your career direction so the key characteristics will be making career changes and developing resiliency so transition is one thing where you are trying to move from one job to another or trying to make some changes next is personal characteristics so personal characteristics include when the person in the process of choosing a career he should do a thorough self assessment it will allow him to learn what his personality type interests aptitudes and work related values are and these traits taken in combination play a major role in career development and this will help him in finding careers as well as workplaces that are suitable for him so the personal characteristics plays a major role as far as influencing the career development is concerned and enough assessment has to be done before a job is being chosen so it will take into consideration the interest aptitude and work related values 
Next comes the socio-economical factor. Socio-economic factors can be a barrier to career development. They can significantly influence the person's ability to pursue a career that is otherwise a good match for him. For example, the person's financial situation may keep him from getting the necessary there are ways of overcoming barriers such as limited financial resources, uh, student loans, financial aids and scholarships. So these are all economic factors that determines the job. Next is physical and mental abilities. Some persons are better suited to some careers than others due to their physical and mental abilities uh, and limitations. For example, a person may want to become a doctor but the intellectual ability to get into medical school he should, if possible, find a related occupation that makes the best use of his strength while accommodating his limitations. So, physical and mental abilities includes uh, the strength required to do a job. Where it is related to the physic, the person should have the ability to handle it with the proper physic. And similarly, mental ability where the person should be analytically strong and able to understand the situation properly and to take wise decisions or quick decisions without delaying which may be the necessity of that particular job so or that role so that should be taken into consideration as far as uh, career development is concerned next comes the chance factors chance factors are life events over which the person has little or no control they can influence and what careers he can choose and how he progress in them. An example would be an individual not being able to advance in his career because he is a caregiver for a relative. So chance factors are the events that happens in one's life and which doesn't have any control. So they can influence easily and what is catering to the requirement and how he is able to progress. So, being advanced in career is an uh, important thing and how it is facilitating one to choose the job of his or her own choice. Thus, the career development topic evolves around the definitions, the characteristics involved in it, the objectives of it, importance, principles, theories strategies or stages and factors involved in it and the uh, different set of stages really play a major role as far as one's career is concerned as far as an employee is concerned the employee has to move through various stages right from the um, characters individual characteristics of an individual and um, the objectives the purpose for which the career has to be chosen and uh, what why it is required the importance has to be looked into and next is the principle what principle is there that has to be absorbed or um, acquired and uh, what theory has to be followed so different theories that we have seen and various stages that are involved right from the assessment uh, preparation and um, acceptance stage and uh, various factors that decides the career development of an individual has been gone through as a summary to recollect or a recap of what we have seen as far as this session is concerned. Thank you.